Hi folks, Tim here and welcome to Elmendorf Acres. Today I want to do a quick video on bottling or canning maple syrup. So we're doing two different things today. We're doing 12 ounce what they call pancake bottles and we are hot bottling those with cinnamon sticks inside of them. So that gives a great cinnamon infused flavor to the syrup. The other thing we're doing is mason jars quart mason jars and that's by far my favorite way to go it's cost effective really easy every store has them tractor supply walmart uh, we get a couple breakfasts out of a mason jar so that works well for our family kids love it i like it abby likes it i wanted to do a quick video on our way of bottling the syrup so we already did the cinnamon sticks in the pancake flasks and now what I've got going is we're doing a double boil and the double boil is exactly this inside the big pot which has the steam bath is the small pot which has the actual syrup now this has already been brought up to temperature and we tested it with the hydrometer it is true syrup at this point we filtered it twice and now we are bringing it up to 195 degrees and the proper canning temperature for maple syrup is between 190 and 195 degrees so if we bring it to 195 that gives us just enough time to top off eight or ten mason jars and we pour it from this pot right into the mason jars. Now I've got the mason jars over here all lined up ready to go. These bottles right here are our 12 ounce pancake bottles. They call them a pancake flask. But we have cinnamon sticks inside of these and if you look close you can actually see them there. The purpose behind laying the bottles on their sides, the purpose with laying the bottles on their sides is that the hot syrup comes right up in here, real hot, right up around the cap. And when that happens, it seals that cap to the bottle. So that's one of the purposes, laying it on its side. And what you want to do is you want to space them apart a little bit because that helps them cool down faster and prevent something that's called stack burn.
remember, we keep these nice and far apart so that they cool down fast. And that helps eliminate that staff burn and it keeps your color a little bit lighter. This is already dark syrup, it's a dark amber. It's actually been filtered several times at this point. But that's how we do our mason jars. Works really good for us. So we've got six here that will sell. And then we have one smaller one. Right there. That one didn't quite fill up to the top. So what we do with those is we actually keep those for our own stock. The kids enjoy it very much. They actually have their own trees that they get to tap. And we do that with milk cartons for them. That way they can handle it because the big buckets are a little heavy for them. But by doing it with milk cartons, it's a food grade plastic that we wash out. And we use the same spiles that I use with a regular metal bucket. And they really enjoy it. It works well for them. Uh, this is already a dark amber. It's got a great maple flavor. And we like it on our pancakes. We actually prefer the dark amber over the light amber. But it's also really good to use the dark amber with the cinnamon because it still allows that maple flavor to come through. The light, the light syrup doesn't hold the maple flavor quite as well if you're going to add stuff to it. So if you're going to add vanilla to it or some po folks put garlic in it and we do the cinnamon, it works really well for us. And by having the dark syrup, it gives that robust flavor and the cinnamon doesn't overwhelm it quite as bad. The maple syrup will store for years. We've got some in our house that my grandfather did in the 90s and it's still good. I've got some that I did in the 90s as well as a 4-H project and it's still good. The only thing that happens is it crystallizes a little bit sometimes. Uh, another thing that can happen if you don't get a great seal or if you get a little bacteria in your bottles if they weren't quite cleaned properly or if you didn't turn them over and steam built on that cap and you didn't turn it over and shake it a little bit, wiggle it around, get that water mixed back in, you can get a little tiny bit of mold on the top of the syrup. That is actually okay. You can skim it off, heat it up again, and it's good to go. So the syrup really doesn't spoil. It's a lot like honey in that way where you heat it back up, you skim it off, and reseal it. So it's a great food, it's natural, it comes from the area. The other thing you can do, and we certainly enjoy it, is we filter our sap, we put it in mason jars, put it in the fridge, and we'll drink it with lunch or dinner or as a snack. And it's a lot of fun, the kids enjoy it, and we enjoy the taste. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Thank you.